Tesla drivers have been experimenting with the car maker's new autopilot system. Some have even posted videos of frightening experiences to YouTube. Tesla rolled out the technology in its Model S just over two weeks ago. John Blackstone tried out the new feature. He's at a Tesla dealership in Corte Madera that's just outside of San Francisco. John, good morning. Good morning. Well, we're here in a Tesla store where the newest feature available makes this a car that can almost drive itself. Once in the driver's seat, you choose settings on the big screen and then turn on autopilot. But that brings up this big warning that tells you exactly when and how to use autopilot safely. But it's a warning many drivers have been ignoring. What's it going to do? Oh, <laughs> it would have taken out the cones. <laughs> the evidence right, is in YouTube awesome. videos suggesting awesome. autopilot is a good way to get a thrill ride oh, okay. <laughs> while pushing technology to its limits. Whoa. Oh, hello. Austin Meyer here. When Austin Meyer posted a video of himself driving while reading a paper, he ended with an admission that he was on a private road with someone else looking out ahead. But he realizes others may not be as careful. It feels a little like the Wild West to some degree because Tesla's releasing an autopilot before it's completely bulletproof. But to me, this is absolutely wonderful because it lets us see where the technology is going. Kobe Brooklyn is Tesla's director of communications. Should you have taken more measures to tell people what they should not do when they switch this on? We've been very clear with our customers what the intention of these features are. And we, you know, we trust our customers and we expect them to be responsible. I could do this, I could do this, but I shouldn't do this. <laughs> well, you should keep your hands yeah. on the wheels, but you know, I think you're still being responsible. You're paying attention to the road, your hands are right by the steering wheel. That's what's most important. Yeah. Get too close to a car in front, the brakes go on automatically. That showed up in a YouTube video when a Tesla stopped itself, preventing a collision on a wet Seattle road. But what happens if a Tesla in autopilot fails to stop an accident? By marketing a system that does some but not all of the driving, a Tesla could be setting itself up for liability first if the vehicle malfunctions, but second if the driver of the vehicle misuses or abuses the system. Somebody is going to get in an accident. Will Tesla be liable for that? If there's unfortunately an accident, the driver is in control of the car. Other automakers are offering features like crash avoidance, but right now the Tesla is the closest thing to a self-driving car a consumer can buy, even though rules governing self-driving cars are still in development. Why do it now instead of waiting until regulations are fully in place? Tesla is one of those companies that we're pushing, you know, we're pushing that technology forward and we're showing the world what is possible. After going down a freeway at 65 with no hands, I can certainly understand the temptation to push this technology a little too far. Adding autopilot to a Tesla costs $2,500. It may be hands-free, but it's certainly not a free ride. Oh, no. well said, John, yes, well said. Indeed. Exciting technology, but Absolutely. not to be abused, I think. Really interesting.